So, where do I even start? I'll start from the beginning. Oh boy. So it does not matter what LX platform vehicle you have. Now, for those of you that don't know what the LX platform is, the Chrysler 300s, the Dodge Magnums, and Dodge Chargers, they all sit on that chassis. Meaning literally all these vehicles share the same parts and everything like females who share leggings. The biggest issue with the 5.7 Hemis is the MDS system, the multi-displacement system. And Dodge basically included this with the 5.7 Hemi to improve fuel economy and gas mileage. But on down the line, yeah, you're going to have some very bad lifter issues. So swap them MDS lifters out for some Hellcat lifters. Texas Speed BFD Chop Monster Cam. Next, you need to remove the MDS solenoids and put block off plugs. And before you ask, you're going to need a 2800 style with this BFD cam. Next thing you can do is throw some long tube headers or an exhaust system on it and you good. You throw a Hellcat supercharger on there and you have a budget beast. Now, right out the gate, if you want almost 500 horsepower, then go the 392 route. Like I told you earlier in this video, everything is plug and play. Everything bolts up the same way. It don't matter if you have a 2023 Dodge Charger. Everything on that 2023 will bolt up to like a 05 Chrysler 300 <laughs> or a Dodge Magnum. You get what I'm saying? So if you don't want to deal with a 5.7 Hemi, then the 392 will drop in there just the same. You hook up your NAG1 transmission and your original wiring. You give it a good tune. And from what I've learned, you, can need, to, you need to put a better fuel pump in there, like 240 LPH or 340 LPH, and you good. But... If you want power, power, like stank, nasty power. If you want a car that's nastier than a stepmom off a of 30 perk and two shots of Patron at the club after about 12 o'clock, yeah, just go ahead and go after the Hellcat engine. This one in particular has 40,000 plus miles and they only want $11,000 for it. Bro, like we got to take a time and like recognize Dodge for a minute. They came out with a vehicle that made... 707 horsepower back in 2015 when these things first came out it took everybody by storm because it was the most affordable high-powered vehicle in the world the most affordable high-powered high production vehicle ever created like <laughs> 80 thou of uh right now you could probably get a 2015 hellcat the whole car for about fifty five thousand dollars uh, max probably 60. They're probably going to ramp up because people are wanting an arm and a leg for it. But hey, 